A-C-G-T, four seemingly random letters. However, if combined in a specific order, millions and billions can be added together to not only form all of us, but form every single living thing on Earth. That's the beauty of DNA. But the truth is, we don't actually know what part of DNA does what exactly. Now, genomics is the study of the genome. Essentially, the goal here is to try to give meaning to a specific set of DNA sequence. In our project specifically, we used comparative genomics, which ends up actually analyzing the two different organisms to each other. One is a reference organism, one that's really well understood, and the other is an unknown organism or our subject of study. Thanks to the GEP, we were provided with a raw DNA sequence of Drosophila willistoni, a type of fruit fly. And we ended up comparing it directly to Drosophila melanogaster, which is another fruit fly that actually has one of the most extensive and well-studied genomes on Earth. Now, what we ended up doing was looking at the protein products produced by Drosophila melanogaster and seeing if they were conserved in Willistoni. Using tools like the Gene Record Finder, the Gene Model Checker, and the Genome Browser, we were able to make a direct comparison between the two. But why do we care? Well, the truth is that the, these concepts can be readily applied to any organism on Earth, including humans. So, essentially, it allows us to better understand ourselves through these projects. Essentially, what I'm saying is that through genomics, it allows us to find the human within the fruit fly. Thank you. <laughs>